AT102 Plus. The AT102 Plus from Schiller is a 12-lead ECG designed to register, visualize, and analyze resting ECGs. A spirometry test can also be performed by incorporating a spirometry sensor to the unit. To turn on the AT102 Plus, press the ON key. The visualization on the screen will vary according to the task that is being performed. To perform a recording of a resting ECG, first input the patient data by pressing the patient key. Once all the information is entered, an automatic recording can be taken by pressing the auto key. After 10 seconds, the data is analyzed and the results can be displayed, printed, saved, or transmitted. For a manual recording, press the manual start key and a continuous printout of the real-time ECG is given. Press the stop key to stop the printout. In order to change the printout lead group, speed and amplitude, the following keys are used. To change the lead shown on the screen or being printed, press keys 1 and 2. Press keys 3 to 6 to adjust the amplitude and keys 7 to 9 to adjust the speed. The bracket keys serve to turn the QRS beeper on or off and to turn the myogram filter on or off. To obtain a copy of the recording in format 1, press the copy 1 key. To obtain a copy in format 2, press the caps key and the copy 1 key will change to copy 2. To store the recording manually, press the store data key and to transmit the recording manually, press the send data key. Press the print event key to print a rhythm strip of the previous 10 seconds of all 12 leads. To record a rhythm strip, input the patient data and select record rhythm, which will be displayed on the screen and is selected by a direct function key. Press the start stop icon. The recording starts and the duration of percentage is indicated in the message bar. The recording will continue for the duration defined. When the time defined has elapsed or the recording is manually stopped, the recording is stored, sent, or printed according to the defined settings. To replace the paper, press the Replace Paper key, and the paper tray will extend. Insert the thermal paper with the printed side facing up and the black mark at the top of the unit. Press the Replace Paper key to return the paper tray to position, and press the Stop key to transfer the paper to its starting position. The spirometry function is available when the spirometry sensor is plugged into the RS-232 connector on the right-hand side of the unit. Three pulmonary function testing modes are available for the inspiratory and expiratory values. Forced vital capacity, slow vital capacity, and maximum voluntary ventilation. The measurements are made with one of the two open pneumotax sensors, the SP250 or the SP260. Once the sensor is plugged in, press the spiral key to enter the spirometry screen. To proceed with the spirometry test, input the patient data and select the test you wish to perform. Remember that the unit must be calibrated prior to the first pulmonary function test of the day. The procedure for all tests is the same. Press the auto start key to begin the test. Once the test is completed, press the stop key. It is recommended that a minimum of three measurements are taken. Store the recording for future viewing or to take a post recording. After a recording has been made, the post option is given in the soft keys. Press the post key to record as post spiral recording. Following a series of patient measurements, the best two results are stored along with the last test made. The measurement table is displayed when the results icon is selected. Two different print data formats can be defined in the spiral settings. To obtain a printout in format 1, press the print key. To obtain a printout in format 2, press the function key followed by the print key. 